Rockstar is actually... Rockstar Games is getting ready to release remastered versions of the original Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. Man, when was the last time I did any gaming news? For, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel, do you guys remember the last time I, I, I did gaming news? Also, what the topic was about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go through my videos again because I don't freaking remember. And way to go, Metalvania, you freaking moron. Yeah. yeah, you don't know what's going on with your own channel. You forget your own content. Oh, well, who cares? I'm not trying to be perfect on YouTube. I'm just here to talk. I'm just here to just do whatever I want. Make fun of stuff. Talk about gaming stuff. Talk about, you know, make fun of political correctness or really whatever. Whatever it is I want to do. You know, that's just, that's all that I'm here for. I don't care to be perfect. Anyway, so yeah, I guess I guess Rockstar is going to be releasing remastered versions of the the original Grand Theft Auto trilogy. So you know, there's Grand Theft Auto Three, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, uh, which is my personal favorite, by the way. That'll always be my favorite. I think it kicks the crap out of any of the Grand Theft Autos out there, including including the newer ones. I have people that say all the time, you know, when it comes to the PS2 era of Grand Theft Autos, they say to me, how could you like that more? You know, San Andreas, I mean, the world was so much bigger, there was a lot more exploring, you could do way more, blah, blah, blah. Yes, that's correct, and I agree with you, it, you know, it's a blast, okay? I still play it to this day, it's a lot of fun. But I'm sorry, but Vice City will, will always be the greatest. Why is that? Because it's based in the 80s, and you can't beat the 80s. That was the greatest decade ever, from the music, the movies, the way people dressed, you know, etc. It was just the greatest decade. I really identify with the 80s, okay? It's freaking awesome. You know, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm actually getting ready to deck out a bit of my house uh, to look like the 80s, so uh, you guys should be entertained by that. I'll keep you guys informed on that, so it's going to look cool. I'm excited about that. So, but anyways, Vice City will always be the best one to me. So, uh, but yeah, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas are being remastered. Now, usually, you know, I gotta say, I'm not for remasters or for remakes. I can't freaking stand it. It's always stupid to me. It's unnecessary. You know, it's always, to me, it's always just a cash grab. And it's a desperate way to want to introduce younger audiences, younger generations to these games. You know, but but how? Okay, smart guy. Well, you know, how do you suggest that we introduce these younger generations to these games? You know exactly how. Re-releasing, okay? Re-releasing these games on the newer platforms physical media wise and digital digital uh, you know uh, digital uh, downloading wise that's the way to do it okay that's the way you do it okay you don't just redo things over and over and over just because you know you don't think of these old graphics are gonna get you know younger audiences attention Galga still gets younger audiences attention you're gonna say that young that younger younger kids are not open up to you know old graphics I mean come on so that's the kind of stuff that goes through my head. So I was open up to this at first, but then I remembered, you know what? I actually remember how much I loved the remake of the first Resident Evil game on GameCube. On the Nintendo GameCube, it scared the crap out of me. I thought it was fantastic. I, I still play it. I mean, it's great. And... Uh, you know, and they, I don't know why they waited so long to do the remake of Part 2, but that was fantastic too. I had a blast playing that. And, you know, most of us gamers out there, most of us gamers, I mean, we could all agree that, you know, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, the remake, was just terrible. Terrible, terrible. I didn't buy it, but I played a little bit of it. It's awful. Really awful. It was totally rushed. So... Uh, so, but yeah, I remember like in the first two remakes of Resident Evil, and also on PS4, yeah, you know, the Spyro the Dragon remake was fantastic. I was satisfied with that. Uh, you know, it played exactly the same, same types of controls and everything. Uh, the story was the same. Uh, the whole layout was all the same. The only thing that was different was the the graphics, and um, it was the same thing with Crash Bandicoot. And uh, so, 
I thought to myself, you, you know what? Remakes of video games seem to satisfy me way more than remakes of movies. And I think it's because, you know what, the gaming industry, you know, they just they just care way more than Hollywood does. They just do. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's no wonder that the gaming industry makes way more money than movies do. So, uh, so, you know, I'm not usually excited for remakes or remasters, period, you know, but when I read, when I read this about what Rockstar is getting ready to do, I, I, I was excited. I couldn't believe that I was excited for this. So the way, you know, that they're handling these remasters of this original trilogy, I'm really excited about. Anyways, so let's get to it. Here we go. This article comes from Looper.com. What a stupid name. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's, it says, Everything we know about the new GTA trilogy. Ever since Take-Two Interactive announced it has three new remasters or remakes in the works in the earnings presentation for Q1 2022, many fans have speculated it has something to do with the Grand Theft Auto franchise. With Take-Two's mod takedown spark, sparking uh, remake rumors and insiders claiming that GTA Remastered is just around the corner, an announcement seems like it could happen at any time. But just how much is known about this supposed collection of revamped Grand Theft Auto games? First and foremost, the remasters are said to be those of the classic PS2 trilogy of GTA titles, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. What's more, they might be coming much sooner than you might expect. According to Kot Kotaku... <laughs> Kotaku, okay. The remakes could be launching as early as fall 2021, around the same time as the standalone GTA Online before the next-gen version of GTA 5 launches. Well, I don't really give a crap about that. They, God, they milked Grand Theft Auto so much that I'm just, I'm over it. Anyways, uh, here's what people in the know have claimed about the remaster trilogy. On everything from PS5 to Nintendo Switch, Taco sources claim that the GTA remasters will release on Google Stadia, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, Nintendo Switch, mobile devices. If the game truly does release on the Switch, it would be the first instance of major GTA uh, title launching on the Nintendo console. On a Nintendo console, sorry. A potential game-changing moment, sources note that Rockstar's main focus is currently on the remasters console's uh, iterations, which means the PC and mobile versions may be pushed back into 2022. The remasters are reportedly in development by Rockstar Dundee before the studio was acquired by Take-Two uh, Rockstar Dundee, uh, then known as uh, Ruffian Games Limited, released and worked on a handful of games. Prominently, it developed Crack, uh, Crackdown 2. I have no idea what that is. Go ahead and call me an idiot in the comments down below, since I don't know. For Xbox 360 and later worked on Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Oh, God, more... Enough with Halo. I can't take this crap anymore. It's the stupidest franchise. Just as, just as stupid as Call of Duty. I just can't do it. Anyway. The latter, of course, is an anthology made up of enhanced and remastered ports of classic Halo installments, which would seem to position Rockstar Dundee as the ideal studio to tackle these GTA remasters. Rockstar Dundee is rumored to be updating the games with both new and old graphics. See, this is where it won me right here. Old and new graphics, so they're not changing too much. And is allegedly using Unreal Engine to achieve this. Should we trust the leaks? Rockstar fans may also be in for a Red Dead Redemption remaster or remasters of other Rockstar classics. If Kotaku... <laughs> I can't get over this name. If Kotaku sources are to be believed, rumors have uh, circulated uh, regarding Red Dead remakes for quite some time. However, the development of these would apparently be predicted on the success of the upcoming GTA remasters. While it is recommended... Uh, while it's recommended to still take these rumors with a grain of salt, it is well worth uh, noting Kotaku's claim that its sources have traditionally been accurate in prior GTA leaks, as well as leaks regarding Red Dead Redemption. In other words, there's nothing wrong with letting the hype build while waiting for an official announcement. 
yeah, I don't think these are rumors. I think it's really going to happen. As for GTA titles beyond remasters and re-releases, fans at least know there is a GTA 6 in the works. Very few. I don't care about the new ones. I care about the, the remasters at the moment. So who freaking cares about that? I don't care. Anyways, that's all I'm going to read for now. Okay, so here's my deal with this whole thing. Now, what made me excited was that they're not going to be changing too much. The fact that they're going to be making enhanced graphics and still keep some of the older graphics, that's where it won me. I was like, okay, well, you know what? This could be great. You know, as long as they, you know, as long as they keep it that way, you know, new and old graphics and the whole layout of the cities of each game is the same, then great. But the thing is, please, please, don't change the voice actors. Don't do that, okay? Uh, especially since, okay, even though the Hollywood actors uh, that did the voices for uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City, even though they were paying the next for Rockstar to work with, I just, still, okay, you, you, you only do that once in your life, okay? So that was a great opportunity, even though they were pains to work with, so just don't change the voice acting. Just don't, okay? Keep that, okay? And this is, this is the other thing that's really huge to me. These are the last two. The, now, when it comes to Grand Theft Auto Vice City, keep the radio station V-Rock, okay? If you change all the stations, I hope that you don't, but you know what? If you do, fine, but just keep V-Rock, okay? you got to have V-Rock on there. V-Rock is really like the core of, you know, uh, Vice City. It just, it really is, you know, when it comes to radio stations. That's the core of radio stations in the, in the city of, uh, you know, Vice. You know, Vice City, man. So keep that. you got to have V-Rock. You just can't change that. And most of all, keep the pedestrians consistent, okay? Uh, you know, just just like the other ones on the P in the PS2 era Grand Theft Auto, you got to keep the you know the consistent pedestrians. You have to the ones that all look the same. You know, it's always the same fat lady. It's always that same homeless guy. Uh, it's the it's the weird feminine uh, <laughs> construction guy walking around. Where's my dang tools? my toolbox so you know that just say all that random stuff my mother's my sister yeah I mean, you gotta keep that keep the pedestrians consistent and keep the random dialogue don't make it too realistic okay so those things if they're not included that's all the things i just mentioned that's gonna break my heart so but other than that i'm very excited about this actually so what do you guys think are you excited about this? Are you not excited about, you know, these remasters are coming up? You know, leave comments down below. And I will catch you guys later. And, uh, yeah. Go check out Cinema Maven, by the way.